So here, we're going to start this. Uh, so this is lesson 11, polyhedra. Okay, so number one, it says select all the polyhedra. So a polyhedron has flat sides surfaces, okay? So there's three types of non-polyhedron shapes, okay? Those are cones, spheres, spheres, and cylinders, okay? So, we got to decide which one is, we got to select all the polyhedra, okay? So, polyhedra just means them past the plural version of polyhedra, okay? So, that's what that means, okay? So, three types that are not, everything else is a polyhedra, okay? Poly means me, means many. Hedron means sides or surfaces, okay? So, problem number two. Is this polyhedron a prism, a pyramid, or neither? Explain how you know. Now, based on what the definition of a polyhedron is, I would go from there, okay? B, how many faces, edges, and vertices does it have? So, we'll go over that really, really quickly, okay? So, we know that. Sorry. Okay, so how many faces, vertices, and edges does it have? So here's going to be a three-dimensional. Do what? Let me get a shape itself, and we'll talk about that. It's always works better when we got something to actually show you and touch it and stuff. So, so a face is a flat surface here, okay? So a face, face, a face, a face, a face, a face, a face. It's a flat surface, okay? Edges is exactly what it says. It's a uh, the middle when two flat faces meet. Edge. Edge, 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 edge. So I find if you go into a particular order instead of bouncing around, it's a lot easier. Okay. Edge, 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 edge. Okay. All right. Uh, vertices is where three or more points meet. In this case, it's three or more sides. Okay. So a vertice, so you got face, face, face. The middle point here is a vertice. It's a vertice, vertex. I'm sorry, vertex. So vertex, 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 because you got three sides meeting. Three sides meeting, three sides meeting, three sides meeting. Okay, so that's a vertex. You also have it on my here. You got three sides meeting. Vertex, 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 vertex. So you got four, eight vertices on this shape right here, okay? So that's a little different. I don't know if I've got exactly any of those over there as an example or not. But you get the idea, okay? So you should be able to tell on what they've got there if it's a face, an edge, or a vertex, okay? Number three, Tyler said this net cannot be a net for a square prism because not all the faces are, are squares. Do you agree? Okay. So it's going to be on the next page. Okay. So there is what it says. Tyler said this net, which is a net, which is like a 3D shape, it's like a prism or whatever. Not necessarily a prism, but it's a 3D kind of laid out. Okay. Tyler said this cannot be a net for a prism because all the faces are squared. Do you agree or not? So you got to decide. I'll go ahead and plug away the answer right there, even though it is on the next paper. Number four, problem four statement. Explain why each of these triangles has an area of nine square units. I, instead of working these out, you can work them out and get nine, but I would explain on these because I would explain the all the dimensions that you have to combine in whatever format to make sure that it is nine, okay? Problem five on the back. is a, a parallelogram 
has a base of 12 meters and height of 1.5 meters. What is the area? Here, you just, you're going to use your formula. You're going to substitute. You're going to solve, okay? Problem six, find the area of the shaded region. <coughs> Excuse me. We've done this a million times, okay? In class, on IXL, on worksheets, on these lessons, whatever, okay? We've done it a million times, okay? So we know how to find the area of that, right? There's multiple ways to solve this. Yes, personally, I would solve it the quickest, easiest, most efficient way. But what, however your brain works is up to you. So let's make sure you just, you're as efficient as you can be for now. Okay, and then we'll try to get more efficient. All right, so this is the lesson 11. So have any kind of questions that you have ready for small group when we get ready to meet. Okay, uh, at the end of class, we will have an exit ticket on these. So let's just make sure that we are on top of whatever we need to be on top of.